My name's Matthew Buckley. My call sign as a fighter pilot was Wiz. I served in the United States Navy on active duty for 10 years and then flew fighters in the reserves for six years. Being a fighter pilot for the United States Navy was the culmination of a dream. Dogfights at supersonic speed on the edge of consciousness, life and death situations created stress, trauma, depression, anxiety, and fear. I was searching for an answer and I found it. Shockingly, it was psychedelic medicine. The, the military does an incredibly good job of, of training you for combat and, and doing some pretty horrible stuff to another human being. And then when they're done with you, they do a pretty shitty job of transitioning you back to being a human. My name is Morgan Madonna, and I am a 12-year veteran for the United States Air Force. I have been awarded with this organization called No Fallen Heroes to partake in iboga treatment, iboga ceremony down in Costa Rica at Awaken Your Soul. This medicine has called me at the most perfect time in my life where I am trying to find more purpose and my missions and passions and hopefully get some direction. Substantially healed me and I was in a bad place. I wish you could have seen me. I mean, it, the, the before and after was, was profound. Our job is to hold space. It's really that. It's it's the veteran and the iboga coming together um, to be one. I think I've, I've shared this before, but when you eat a banana, the banana becomes you. You don't turn into the banana. So when you consume the iboga, the iboga becomes you. And so what I've seen with veterans is there's almost as if there's two worlds in which they're seeking healing from. There's the world of their childhood and their conditioning, their ancestral lineage, all those aspects, even the esoteric ones there. And then there's the realm of the military service, the conditioning, the war, the violence, um, the many layers they've seen there. And I think what it allows them to do is hold these experiences, which did happen, you're not changing them, um, but from a new paradigm, a new perspective. Literally 52 years of fucking ego, of Regret, shame, pain, death, alcohol, drugs, fucking disintegrated in the blink of an eye. I exploded into light, energy, love, indescribable. This is the time for this. I feel people are waking up and ready to receive this information and I know it's not easy stepping out and doing this, so it took a lot of courage. 54 years of counseling in a 12-hour period with the medicine. I recognize, I realized my work has not even started, right? For me, I'm not talking about how we're gonna end veteran suicide, we are. That's a done deal. Daniel Summers, who served two tours in Iraq, took his own life, he was just 30 years old. Sadly, he is not the first veteran to do so. 8,000 US veterans commit suicide each year. That's an average of 22 per day. We're here to tell you this is not the way out. So the mission objective of the No Fallen Heroes Foundation is to save the lives of veterans, first responders, and their families using psychedelic assisted or entheogenic therapy. We're gonna be saving lives, we're gonna be changing attitudes. No higher purpose, no higher calling than helping your fellow woman, helping your fellow man. We're gonna heal everybody. Nobody's left behind. <laughs>